so yesterday was kind of a life-changing day, I'd say. What do you think happened? What they're do you so think happened? Born. No, they're still in there. <laughs> So yesterday I did something that I honestly thought I would never do. I had so much anxiety about this that literally I was convinced I was just never, ever going to do it. You okay. said you have to. Yes. Preferably before the babies are born. And I did it by like the skin of my teeth. It was a close call, but I did it. Yep. Yesterday. I got my license. Yay, you did it. So yesterday was my driving test and I was absolutely terrified. I'll give you some more details in a little bit about everything that happened, a little rundown, but oh my God, I got my driver's license. I passed my driver's test. I can now drive. I'm an adult. Yay. <laughs> I was an adult before that, but I just felt kind of really silly all the time having to ask people to drive me around. And I was so scared that I just was kind of okay with it. I was like, I guess I'm just never going to get a license. I'm never going to drive. But I'm really proud of myself for doing it. I'm proud of And I'm now a driver. You did great. You did so well. I also Where can't show go? you like my picture or anything because it takes 10 to 14 days for your <laughs> actual license to arrive. Yeah. I have a temporary license, which is literally just a piece of paper. Yeah. Where's the first place I'm going to go though? Is that what you said? Ooh, okay. So I want to go to Ikea. Yep. Yeah. I would go with you, but like you just physically can't. <laughs> no. It's too big of an of it's a, nice adventure. For you to go. I really am excited that I can just go thrift shopping anytime I want now. Yep. You can go anywhere. I know. I love going thrift shopping. I don't think you really love it as much as me. No. <laughs> but I love it. So now I can be like, oh, just gonna drop some things off at the at the donation center. Yeah. And go into the thrift store. Yeah. And I'm really excited to take the dogs to the P-A-R-K. I'm it's so like fun. such a relief that it's finally over. I bet. That I actually it was did hanging it. hanging over you for so Oh, it was long. hanging over me for years. For years you were like, you need to get your license. You need yeah. to get your license. You did it. You did so good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. You did I'm it. a driver. Yay. Woo! A huge thank you to Clue, C-L-U-E, for sponsoring today's video. Clue is a period ovulation and pregnancy tracker, and it's something that I've actually used for years. I used to be really tired at random times of the month, and I was like, why am I tired? I wonder if it's related to my period cycle. Once I started using Clue, I learned so much about my body, and I could also predict when I was going to be like cranky for a few days, yes. or really tired for a few days. <laughs> I found Clue came in really handy when we decided to do a home insemination because it gave me a better idea of when I should be testing for ovulation. And it's not just a period tracker and an ovulation tracker, it is also a pregnancy tracker. So now that Allie is pregnant with twins, we've been using it for that. Getting all the updates. <laughs> Clue is available on Apple and Android devices. Download Clue for free in the App Store and try a free trial of Clue Plus. And thanks again to Clue for sponsoring today's video. Hello vlog. I am very tired, but I am going to make some cricket things. So I thought I'd show you. But we have two friends who are starting IVF in the next little bit. And I know that I'm not going to be able to make them things or probably get little gifts together when they're doing it. So I thought today will be the day that I make little good luck packages for them so that because when we were doing IVF it was so nice to get little good luck surprises and it just made things a little bit easier what we do usually is stock up on things at the thrift store like mugs blank mugs like these and then we have them on hand for whenever we want to make cricket things I've also stock up on these like two dollar Starbucks cups. I'm not going to use those today, but for like fall, winter, they're really fun to make or personalized ones for people. We have like some blank onesies. That is what I'm about to do is Cricut. I will show you what I end up making. I also want to tell you about my book. This is actually, sorry to say, not out until January. It's really good. So somehow <laughs> Sam's on this book list? Do we get some books sometimes? I'm very glad. I don't know how she's on it, but that's great. Um, so this is from Celadon Books, I believe. 
and it comes out in January. It is really good. I also love that it's a fall cover. But yeah, I'm actually really, really enjoying this book. So check it out in January if you can remember at that time. <laughs> and since Allie told you about her book, I'll tell you about mine. So I just finished Stephen King's The Institute. I've never read a Stephen King book. Well, I think I read The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon when I was in elementary school. So maybe it doesn't count. But Was that good, by the way? This? I would read it. Would I? No. Okay. I, it's too sci-fi-y. Oh, okay. It's a sci-fi book. It's supposed to be like sci-fi horror, and I did really like it. So I picked it up at the thrift store because I saw it and said, huh, maybe I should try to read something new. I read a lot of thrillers, psychological thrillers. I thought, this looks really good. So it is about a boy who is kidnapped Hello, and sent sir. to the Institute, which is a place for people with special abilities. I'll leave it at that. And he attempts to break out to save everyone. And it's good. I liked it. My only complaint is it's long. I didn't expect diving into it because it didn't look long that this would be like a 500 page book of like pretty small font. It's over 500 pages so it took me a while to read and that typically doesn't happen to me. So that was the only thing I didn't love was I was like oh it just goes on and on. So that's my only complaint. Otherwise, I did really like it. I'd probably give it a four star and I'd probably consider reading more Stephen King books in the future. I'm currently reading The House Across the Lake. It died. I don't know if I got that out. The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. Sager. I have read some of his books before, Survive the Night in particular. Really good. Let me show you how it starts. It starts with a Taylor Swift quote, so I feel like it's going to be good. I am going into it knowing, though, that Allie didn't like it. I don't think she even finished it. It could be any time. Any single time Allie's like, oh, I have a pain. Oh, I have the... I'm like, is well, it baby time? It feels like cramps. Huh? Maybe it's baby time. Somebody just wrote on our video, because I posted a TikTok, go check out our TikTok, and said, I had my twins at 34 weeks and five days. You're so close to the end. Wow. Guess who's 34 weeks and five days? I do feel like crampy though all of a sudden. All right, let's keep an eye well, on it. Well, at least I'm getting my stuff done. Yeah, how's the cricketing going? Look. Oh, IVF got this. Like, I've, yeah, right? I've got this. Oh, the mug. That's so cute. Oh, our yeah. friends are going to love them. Oh my god, I love it. They're doing needles, so they might be giving the needles. Shots, shots, shots. And she's going to put them on. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's fun. We love our crickets. They come in so <laughs> handy for gifts. Actually, amazing. Like, I am so excited for Christmas because... It's nice to make custom things for people. It feels it special. Is. It feels really special, doesn't it? Yeah. With your own hands. Teresa, our friend, made up us <gasps> these yeah. really cute onesies. They're new girl themed. I don't know where they are. They're... I think I just put them downstairs. down. I think I put them downstairs because they were a bigger oh, size. Oh, they're bigger maybe? size. Maybe not. Let me go look. They'll, they can watch New Girl with me. Yeah, they can. Please. And I'll be like, this is what we watch on the TV, guys. I bet we'll watch so much we New Girl cartoons. when they're little. We yeah, because like, you're just like tired Sitting around and like... Taking care of babies. Yeah, so you need New Girl yeah. to like give you a good laugh. Oh, of course. Do you like New Girl? <laughs> She's asking you guys if you like New Girl. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? I think mine's Schmidt. I think Schmidt. Schmidt, but then, you know, it changes by episode, because sometimes... Oh, I like Nick. Nick's got some lines. Oh, he's got some lines, But also, right. I like Jess. Oh, everyone's good. I mean, I also like Cece. I like Winston, Winston in the Winston. later in the later seasons. When he gets I think he's really going. funny. And obviously, Ferguson. Oh, yes. There's our Ferguson, named, named after, after New Girl. New Girl. So this is so easy. See? So easy. Transfer tape and then stick it on. Wait, where should we go? Right here? Yeah, looks great. Fun fact about the friend that Allie is making that for, one of them. Uh, they are the only people that I accidentally, ooh, my hair. They're the only people that I accidentally told the sexes of the babies. Also, I am pretty proud of us for not letting it slip in any videos. I know some people think we've let it slip, but we haven't. Oh my God, what is happening? So, final guesses. What are they, baby A, baby B? I was coming up here to show you the onesies to see if they were in here. Oh, 
Here they are, they are up here. So Teresa made these with her Cricut. So the Griffin, this is the bar, Nick's bar. And then the Pepperwood Chronicles, which is the book series he writes. So sweet. And my Nana made me this. My mom just found it. Does it not look like the trans pride flag? I love it, it's so cute. So my Nana, Rita, made me this when I was younger and she, crocheted it and I am going to now put it here in the twins room for them to use because it's so special. My Nana passed away quite a few years ago now. She was, goodness, that woman lived to be in her late 90s. You go Nana, go. And while I'm up here and in a chatty mood, I'm in the rocking chair in the nursery. Let's have a talk about my driver's test. So if you don't know, I have a lot of anxiety about driving, or I did. Not so much anymore. I first got my learner's license when I turned 16, like everyone. So that's like your beginners, your first license that you get. I did it, I got it. And then I drove a number of times, but I found it really scary. So I stopped. And then the anxiety just got worse and worse. My learners expired. It was a whole thing. And I honestly was just ready to live a life where I didn't drive even though it's extremely inconvenient and I had so much anxiety and I think it stems from like a traumatic car accident I was in as a child where like my mother needed surgery and there was a lawsuit and it like hung over my family for a long time and I think maybe that is a reason but interestingly my siblings don't drive either. Allie always really really wanted me to drive because she drives but she doesn't like driving and it's a lot of pressure for her to be the only driver in the family especially now that we have two kids and then last april there's quite the timeline here last april i signed up for driver's ed and that was my first real step at getting my license so i did the in class portion of driver's ed it went really well i felt so much more confident in my knowledge and then it took me a while yet until i think october of last year to get my learner's license so that's a written test that you do and once you get your learners you can drive with someone else in the car and then after that i didn't actually start my in-car driving and like actually driving until may so I did in-car driving lessons, just like private lessons in a driver's ed car. So like it had a second set of brakes and stuff that the instructor could use. And I really, really liked that because it made me feel like if there was an emergency, it wasn't all on me that they could help me in that situation, which really upped my confidence. And I think I did 12 hours of in-car driving lessons. You are an adult that is looking to learn to drive. I definitely, definitely, recommend doing driving lessons. I think it's really, really important. Like I learned so much. They were able to tell me like, do this, do this. Did you know this? Did you know this? Just like all these things that you just don't think of. Last month, my driving instructor told me that I was ready to take my test, to get my full license so that I could drive by myself, drive anywhere, you know, the whole shebang, the real deal. And I was terrified, but I did feel ready. But my test was originally booked for the very end of September. And that just wasn't going to work because that's when the twins are due. So we were calling multiple times a day to try to freaking get me a driver's test earlier. Ugh, it was stressful. They are currently, like that test, my end of September, was booked in like June for the end of September. That was the earliest they had. And now that it is September, they're booking January. 2023. I was able to get in on a cancellation, but it was in an area I'd never driven before. It was not in the city. I had practiced in a place called Bears Lake here, and there's a place that they do driving tests there. I had anticipated and practiced that route, so I had thought I was going to drive there. I instead drove in a totally different place I'd never even been before, and I was supposed to use my driver's ed car and like practice beforehand with my instructor. He ended up having someone else booked the same day at the same time at a different location and I couldn't do any of those things. So I was so freaking stressed, but I mean, it all worked out even though we realized our plates were expired the day before my test. And my mom then had to drive from PEI three and a half hours. Well, she didn't have to, she chose to. Thank you, mom, couldn't do it without you. She chose to drive three and a half hours so that I could use her car for the test. And it worked. I passed with flying colors. The guy told me that I'd done so well. 
my mistakes were so freaking silly. So I got 14 points. And like I said, you can get 45 as a fail. So he was like, you were way, way under. My mistake, the first mistake that I lost the most points for, five points, was done. The second I started my test, I didn't signal out of my parking spot. Most people don't signal either when they're exiting a parking space, but uh, you have to, and I didn't, and I lost five points for that. This is the silliest thing. Are you ready? It's absolutely foolish. Everyone I've told is like, are you kidding me? So I had to drive on our big highway system as part of my test. I know a lot of places like you don't drive on like the freeway or the big highway. You have to here to pass your test. So I did, everything went great. But when I went to take the exit ramp, first there's a sign that says to go 65. And then a bunch of signs that say slow, 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 like these big yellow warning signs saying slow. And then there's another sign that says 45 around the bend. And there's like those hazard warning arrows. So your girl went 65 and 40 or whatever, a little over for those areas. And I lost five points because they are not enforced. Like it's not actually a limit. It's just a recommendation. So you would think that you should follow the recommendation, but no, he said that no one actually follows it so because no one else follows it it's too slow and it's not actually the law you have to go those speeds so I lost five points so I think that one's silly so I don't worry about it <laughs> I mean it passed anyway but is that not so foolish I mean I do understand you don't want to accidentally get rear-ended because you're going slow but still the signs say to go those speeds. So how are you supposed to know you're not supposed to go those speeds? I think it's pretty silly, <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. So I passed, I was absolutely terrified. The few minutes leading up to the test, I literally bawled in the car. Like I just sat in the car and my mom was sitting next to me and I just cried and cried. I was like, I don't wanna do this. I had so much anxiety, but honestly it feels so much better. Like I have such a weight lifted. It has been hanging over me. The thought of getting my license for so long that it just feels so good that I actually have it. Here's my reminder to all of you that you can do hard things, you can do things that scare you, and you got this. Especially all of you that want to drive but are scared. I know there's a lot of you, a lot of adults that don't have your license that want it. You got this. It's really not as bad as you think. And if you're embarrassed because of your age, there were so many other people that were adults learning to drive in my driver's ed. And when I was writing my test, every other person doing theirs at the same time were also adults. You got this. Hello vlog. We never vlog in the nighttime. Felt like saying hi still, continuing. So my mom brought over a whole bunch of albums from when I was a kid and I wanted to show you some photos of me and we can see how much the twins look like me. I'm very curious to see. There's me as a little kiddo. Too. They could be like spitting images or like nothing like me. They could look just like the donor or just That's like you me. or one could look just like you. Yeah. And one could look just like the donor. I know. It's wild. Or purple. Looks me. like neither. Oh, it's looks like me. you. Okay, so there's some bigger kid photos. I want to find baby photos. This is the funniest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I made a scrapbook when I was 11 maybe, and oh my gosh. One, the spelling is horrendous. Two, what, what even was my life? That is me and my best friend. The one with the long hair is me. I feel like I still look the same. Here's a baby photo of me. A little chubby thing with my mom. And there's me getting ready for school in like grade six. I think this photo of me and my mom is so cute. I always thought when I was growing up, I wanted to be a doctor. I always wanted to be a pediatrician. So I thought. Then I read this. When I grow up, I would like to be a singer, actress, or model. It would be amazing to be rich and famous. Here, do you wanna hear, hear what I like? I'm so glad I did this when I was a kid. I like animals, candy, the night, 
and flowers. Didn't know I was ever a fan of the night. I love the rain to bike and the stars. I also like to skateboard, even though I'm not very good at it. My favorite song was Run by Rex Gowdy. I typed these lyrics out myself. There are so many spelling errors. Like I went on the computer and I listened to the song and I typed out these lyrics. Oh, food, food. I love, love, underscore love. Junk food. I still do, I'm the exact same. Rice, pork chops, salad, oranges, strawberries, and hot chocolate. This page is when I was crying. Are you ready? Snowflake was my hamster. She died on February 24th, 2006. I got her on March 8th, 2003. Very old hamster. Hamsters do not live that long. She was almost three years old. Like a week short of her third birthday. She was all white with a small yellow spot on the very top of her head. Amber and Keisha were over when I found her dead. Keisha said, your hamster is so cute and she sleeps in an igloo. So I said, how do you know? And she was laying down with her eyes half open, half shut. The, that's the end. That's all that's on this page besides stickers. <laughs> yeah, I did not mean to be funny, but this is, there's more, but this is just the funniest thing I ever made. And I'm so glad I have this to cherish. But I think we're getting ready for bed. We've been going to bed so flipping early lately. I think it's like not even nine o'clock actually. I think it's eight and we're like ready for bed. So I'm gonna go to bed and we'll see you back for another vlog soon. All right, bye. <laughs>